All right, what is up y'all? Today I'm so excited to be making this video. This is my baby right here. This is gonna be hands down the girliest range bag y'all have ever seen. Yes, this is Barbie. Yes, I got a pink puff and a pink stripe. <laughs> but listen, ladies, it's okay to still be yourself and to practice your second amendment. Men, if your wives are kind of iffy about it, maybe show her this video, get her excited about wanting to explore the options. I don't know. So yeah, let's get right into it. When I tell you, when I tell you, this is my baby right here. So in the front zipper, <laughs> y'all, gonna get a kick out of this. <laughs> Not what you think it is. But no, actually it um, goes onto the table like this. And I can hang my bag underneath the table. You know, cause, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. We're starting it off like that. Right now I just have hand sanitizer in this little pouch right here. There's something inside that I moved to right here. I will show you guys what that is in a second. See if you guys can see. It's like a little compartment right here. So I have two visors, uh, one black, one white. I just personally like to wear some type of hat or a visor. I really love these visors. Um, just so I've seen too many videos where the shell casing gets in between your eye protection. You only get one set of eyes. I, I don't mind putting on a visor. Would you call this a ski mask? Um, I don't want to say the word wrong. Blah, blah, blah. I'll, I'll put it on the screen. I also use this um, when I go fishing too. So, alrighty, and let's open her up. So on the inside, we're just getting it right now. First thing I grab, these are my eye protection. I have a whole video unboxing these. I love these babies. These are uh, Pit Viper, the eye protection. So I always make sure I got eye protection and then my ear protection these are the um walkers so the cool thing about these they are electronic so i can turn them on and i still hear people talking and i can decide how loud i want to hear things around me or i can just cut it off so i really recommend these all right let's see what else so I have a notepad. I think I'm gonna get a smaller one. This, yes, this is Barbie. Y'all don't judge me. I'm tired. I have my tourniquet. So this is what I was talking about. When I get there, I like to put this in the side pocket right here just so it's easily accessible i feel like everyone should have one of these honestly think about it accidents happen i would much rather have it than not have it next my first aid kit in here we just have cleansing wipes medical tape q-tips and all this actually came in here it pouches at the bottom so this is basically everything for cleaning my guns I got gun oil. The one I got has a really fine uh, point to it because you really don't need much gun oil. I also have gloves, that rope that you put through the barrel. So, is that all I have to buy? Okay, no. And actually these are just spare batteries. I just keep them in here. I don't ever experience like, oh, I'm gonna switch on my batteries, but if I did, I would be prepared on these side pouches. I have 
pink flashlight. But this puppy is bright. A speed loader. Y'all. I could recommend anything to you. The ones that come with your gun that you just push down. I just throw those away. <laughs> this is this is the one right here. I have some um uh target bullets with a proper name brass bullets but they're only for target practice you're not supposed to use those for like self-defense hollow tips or like different types of bullets you know they go they spread when it hits the target anyway and then on the other side um i just have some magazines you need to look up your law the law of like your state some states if you have loaded magazines you'll get in trouble like if you were to be pulled over but yeah so i have three for um these are for my glock this one's for my sig and then on the other side and this is really about it so i got a knife also look up the laws of your state my state the blade can't be longer than three inches it can't be like a swish blade or like one of those big ass like hunting knives or whatever so this got off amazon it was pink you know i had to buy it so yeah it has a seat belt cover and then right here apparently you can break glass i've seen a video that i don't know how true that is I think that'll be a fun video if I can like test to see if it'll actually break a window. <laughs> Let's put this big ass thing on it so I didn't lose it. But this is my air tag because child, I did not spend as much money for someone to think they can jig and finesse me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or just anything. I, I don't know why I would lose it. So yeah, basically I have my fishing license. Um, I carry my concealed permit in my actual wallet, but if I was just wanting to have just this bag and not my purse in the bag and this and that, I would put my ID and my concealed permit in here. You know what I mean? It's just good to have. So, yes, guys. I, when I tell you, I love this bag. So if you notice, my firearms are not in the bag. Basically, they have no problem fitting in here. I can even put my safe in here. Keep my guns in my safe, like in a safe. I have small kids. And I like to always take the extra mile for every precaution because I have kids. And that's why I think, um, this will be a good video to show your wife, show your girlfriend, because I get the reservations of like, oh, I don't even want that around me. But God forbid anything, um, you wanna be able to protect yourself. Also follow the channel, I do reactions to gun uh, negligent videos because that's what gives the 2A community a bad reputation. It's not the people who are being smart and taking precautions. So yeah, I think the only thing that I'm missing that I normally carry is like, I'll have like a little towel in here, disinfectant wipes. Oh, I got pens and markers in here. I forgot to show y'all, it's on this zipper, but it's just, I can just, <laughs> that's how much I love it. And yes, it is absolutely so girly. But listen, don't even come for me because you're probably wearing American flag underwear right now. Like, don't try to come for me. <laughs> I like what I like and I'm safe about it. I take classes. I even have a great, the people, oh, I'm just so blessed. The gun range that I go to, I mean, what amazing, amazing people that work there that are so insightful, so welcoming. So, um, it's just amazing. And then also, uh, I'm so blessed because one of 
the, the ladies that work there she's a competitive shooter and she does one-on-one -on -one classes so i'm just very fortunate in my situation so it's just i'm having fun just know it is our second amendment okay the second one of all the ones they could have thought of they put that one second okay so yes thank y'all so much for watching it is a pleasure please comment down below your opinions recommendations anything just say hey so yeah thank y'all for watching and i'll catch y'all in the next video